Hey, Divine Rebels and Divine Rebel Youngbloods, we are in the house now, and we're doing another tarot mukbang, so we always plan these and don't get to them. There's one on the channel that has a uh, chocolate on it. I'll put it in the playlist, okay? So right now, we are on the road, and we are eating from a place called Kapuk over here. I think that's how you pronounce it. All right, and this place is, um, it's like, it's not fusion, but the, it's like Pan-Asian. They have a specific Chinese meal, Korean, Japanese, all different places, and we got some sushi. We were wanting some sushi. I've never had them before. Now, it's a little bit smaller servings than my favorite sushi place, um, and we'll have to see this one here. So what we're going to do is for tarot, there's three options you can pick the sushis. For cardamancy, there's three drink options options you can pick one of them is already pre-bottled I didn't know that and then for look at these mochis are they supposed to have that frozen ice on them I never saw them like that in my life are they is that frostbite y'all let me know or is that how it's supposed to look for those we have the little love oracles and we'll pick one of each of those so it's kind of three readings in one Plus a mukbang. Baby already has her chopsticks. She loves, um, she loves holding anything like that, <laughs> like drumsticks, chopsticks, anything like that in her hands. Um, and they gave us plenty of them. So I do regret how much uh, plastic and styrofoam's in here, but we'll make use of it and not just throw it away. Make sure it gets recycled and all that kind of stuff. Okay. So yes, go ahead and pick your options right here this is a tempura mushroom with like roasted mushrooms on top this is avocado roll and this is a tempura yam that's supposed to have like spicy uh mayo or something in it this is vegetarian meal usually i'd be full vegan but i've been working back to that after i was off it for certain reasons okay so that's that is what it is this is thai tea oh yeah they have stuff from thailand on on their menu this is thai tea this is i'm sorry if i'm not what's the point with the the chopsticks y'all the etiquette i don't know all the chopstick etiquette i know i'm not supposed to lay them down on the plate when i'm eating with them but other than that i need to ask my one friend kitty because she knows all that <laughs> she's really good about that um this is uh honey milk tea and um let's see it's hong kong style milk tea and then this is jasmine honey tea and they have the option of hot or cold. I've never had a hot um, Thai iced tea, but I love it iced so much that I just got that version. This was supposed to be iced as well, but it looks like it came um, the warm version or hot. I guess it's warm now. Okay, so and the um, mochis are chocolate mochi, so you can just pick <laughs> a mochi that's like no ice, a little more ice, a little bit more ice on it for your options. Okay, so there are nine card options. If you're coming from the mukbang community, hey, welcome. I am a divinity channel we do spiritual things astrology tarot oracle all kinds of things so I hope you enjoy and if you are you know some of our subscribers that are used to all the the spiritual woo woo stuff well hey we eat in today <laughs> eat and show today so go ahead and choose what you want and we're going to get into it starting hmm I don't know we're just gonna dive in all right, y'all. So I did think they would give me more of the spicy sauce to like dump into. She playing y'all a song, okay? They do have this little uh, yam yamasa soy sauce. I don't think I've had this brand. So we'll go ahead and put a little of that somewhere on here. Y'all, it's going to run. <laughs> I might even stand up over here to the side. I'm over here behind the camera. Like, I need to get by this food, okay? I'm just going to put some. Is that weird? Somebody's like, no, get a dish. Y'all, I'm on the road. I do have some of my own dishes, actually. But um, I just, they're, they're packed up right now. But I do actually bring my own dishes, so I don't have to use so much of this recycle stuff so much, okay? So let's go, go ahead and take a taste, and then we'll pull your card for each one, okay? I want to start, oh, drinks, I'll start with here. Okay, so we're going to start with the mushroom. This is what it looks like. It's supposed to be like a, oh, that's right. It was seaweed and mushroom. It's seaweed and mushroom. Okay, y'all. You want to buy seaweed and mushroom. It has roasted mushrooms on top. We're going to do a little bit of sauce. Mmm. Oh, it's fresh. Mmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's real seaweed. It's more on the sea taste inside than on, like, just the salty, 
you know some seaweed you get it and it's just kind of like that salty processed taste and it, i mean it's good but it just tastes like salt no this has the the, the sea with it <laughs> it does yes mm -hmm. let's get a little bit of ginger here Got a little bit of pickled ginger over her mm-hmm mm-hmm Ooh, they got good pickled ginger some of it it just tastes like it was put in cleaner like I'm like is this floor cleaner no I mean no shade but y'all ever experienced that where you taste some pickled ginger for some place and you're like is this a dirty rag that you use to clean the floor with pine saw um, <laughs> oh this is a good one okay look at this one here y'all mm-hmm okay let's try mm-hmm mm-hmm mm -hmm. Mm. that was like the perfect bite it was so balanced mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that was a balanced bite y'all okay i liked it the little grass <laughs> getting in the way oh my goodness mm -hmm. that was really good so i'm gonna go ahead for those of you that chose the mushroom the mushroom roll seaweed and mushroom roll we'll timestamp down below let's get your little tarot message for those who pick the seaweed mushroom so i'm going to go through take a bite and a try and pick your cards and then we're just going to sit down and eat and kiki all right because <laughs> i'm hungry yeah yeah she'll sometimes eat sushi but she has to be the move for it all right what we got for you we got the world card the three of swords and the ten of pentacles oh y'all about to get through we have the seven of pentacles it ain't but a thing just wait a little bit longer okay let me pull this up for a minute so what we got for y'all that picked the mushroom roll it is not but a thing happening whatever your concern is before you thrive okay you're gonna thrive real soon here with the seven of pentacles on the bottom of the deck something's been interrupting your success it might literally be the internet connection for some of you you're gonna get the internet you're gonna move into the house you're going to get the transportation whatever it is that seems like it's just such a big real world problem and it's been such a difficulty for you to get in look at the next bottom of the card is the nine of pentacles right here all right it's not but a thing keep pushing keep moving away from whatever has given you difficulties you're gonna have time to celebrate and celebrate big okay so big right now <laughs> humongous celebrations and it's gonna be a look baby said good 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 mm -hmm. that's what she said oh, 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 oh it's a big one y'all you're having some brilliant amazing changes and it will um it's gonna be like a plateau you're gonna reach a new plateau so it's not gonna be where you're like you get a success and then you're upward struggling like oh man i got the new house but can i make the mortgage no this is where you truly make it to the next level the investments will spent you'll get the money you need to put it down okay we got justice some of you are gonna have money for yeah you're looking for a down payment or some of you it's like you're trying to get your your vimeo going you're trying something that you need a down payment you're gonna get it and you're gonna have good support boom it's just there it's there so keep on you're gonna make <laughs> she's excited for y'all so. um well we don't apologize for excitement but y'all um, <laughs> she's expressing it as a child she's a toddler if you're new to the channel she is 20 months old so i know she's a capricorn so she seems older with her wisdom than she is y'all but don't forget she but a baby baby so that's what I'm seeing for y'all. If you chose the mushroom option, the mus seaweed mushroom roll, now we're going to try the next one because we're hungry. <laughs> and we're going to keep this mukbang going, or as Simply Food uh, by TY says, the mook of the bong, okay? And yes, we do give thanks and bless our food before we come onto the, onto the show, as we call it. And I always say, baby, I'm on the show. All right, for those of you that chose the avocado roll, you just like it nice and simple, nice and sweet okay she said oh no all right we got this little avocado roll here let's do a little dab dab of the sweet stuff or the salt stuff <laughs> mm. Mm -hmm. mm. 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 okay they didn't skip me they j they picked a good avocado mm -hmm. there's nothing else in there mm -hmm. it ain't cucumber avocado they didn't put no little carrot or nothing little extra it's just that avocado but it's good Mm -hmm. someone's gonna say use the wasabi here i'll put the little pickled ginger i'll get a little wasabi on it mm -hmm. okay there we go Ooh, that makes it pop mm -hmm. i'm so picky about pickled ginger and they picked a really good one y'all
Mm-hmm. Let's get another one for the Dad. avocado. Ooh, there we go. That's Dad, cute. Dad, 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 That's Dad. cute, y'all. Da, da, da. Let's offer you a bite with the with the soy sauce on. Da, da, da. <laughs> She's over here playing a whole song, a whole drum solo with the, her chopsticks, y'all. Wee 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 wee. Is she playing? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm. Oh, that feels fresh and healthy, <laughs> despite that little soy sauce on there. It was hitting the spot. So for those of you tarot reading, for those of you that chose the avocado roll, that was really fresh. Look, I'm look, I'm from California. We've had avocado trees in our yard, so I'm picky about avocado. That's a good little avocado right there. It really is. I ain't mad at it. Actually, I feel satisfied. <laughs> All right. Yes, that's probably the best avocado I've had being in the Whew, Okay, baby had a cough. We back. We made it. She's still patting herself on the back. <laughs> it's so cute. She patting herself on the back. Whew, I'm trying to get to these drinks, y'all, too. Ooh, just all of it. So we're going to finish the taste test and the reading part. Then we're going to chill and kiki. All right, for those that chose the avocado roll, what is their message? All right, we got the Wheel of Fortune reverse jumping out. Three of Cups reverse. We have the Six of Cups reverse. We have the Hangman reverse. I see clarity coming about a messy social situation, okay? Or messages abroad about someone that came afar. You could be getting news that you've been trying to have in regards to a um, situation. Maybe um, some of you are like parents or children who are abroad and you're concerned about bringing the rest of your family near to you. Or you've been separated from your friends. <laughs> your childhood friends for a while and you're trying to get back across the water for a lot of you i do i see distant lands and distant waters yeah baby mama right here hashtag free migrant children families belong together as well yes that's right they say and so this is um but this is about connecting now some of you you're like well i've never had that yet i'm searching for my soul group like when am i going to reconnect with you know people from past lives or people that their spirit resonates with mine and it's saying it's coming soon so with this hangman reverse you're gonna have the clarity that you need let me pull this up in here okay you're gonna have the clarity that you need to get to that position and to get to that connection all right um it's like trust yourself if you know that you're in a group that's shady and no good like some of you are seeing the underbelly of so-called spiritual people yoga group whatever it is and some of you are having to see the the tough truth about people you've been friends with since childhood and it's saying trust yourself listen to that your spirit knows what's up all right um just like we don't want just like you know we might look back and be like man people shut me down when i was little they didn't listen to me they didn't listen to my truth um it's like well don't continue to do that now okay in your current life let yourself your that inner child that inner truth speak and listen because it's letting you know how people are it peeps the game and the only way you're going to come out of the, the negative cycles and feel like you have real people who support you okay some of you are having slander and shade and stuff on social media it says oh no you people People know who you are and they know what you put out and they know what you're doing we've been talking about that a lot on this channel there they, they know okay um so anything that's that you or anyone else has been doing that's a little scandalo okay it's going to come out and anything that's been hidden that you've been trying to get your credit for clear your name get your rec recognition is trying to come back around but you have to listen to your intuition if there's something you need to apologize for or come clean go ahead and do so all right the real friends are still going to be there but it's like take out all the barriers that keep you from connecting with friends in a genuine way and then you'll be able to have those genuine supporters and friends come in okay and my palm just got real hot so some of y'all really received that you was like ow that was like a fastball all right i know just for a little mukbang kiki so that's what i'm seeing for y'all for the avocado roll look little assuming little avocado roll packing the punch all right for those of you who chose the yam tempura spicy roll <laughs> hey <laughs> You know, we got to get happy when we get this food over here. Ooh, this is what we looking like. This is what we looking like. This is what we doing over here. Let's go ahead and get a little, you know, because they didn't put any kind of no sauces, anything. Ooh, look at on the back side. Okay. Mm-hmm. 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 Careful, y'all. See, that's why I shouldn't have done that, but I'm hungry. 
to the I ain't know. You gotta be careful. I love you too. Mm, okay, so I got more like fried taste in that than anything. Let me take one more. I see a little bit more going on, and then we're gonna get your cards. Do you want some now? You want one of these ones? Oh, this is the good one. <laughs> no, you can't have my chopsticks. I thought she wanted to. Yeah, she tried to jack me for my chopsticks, but good thing they have put another set in the thing since we got three rolls. All right. Mm-hmm. 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 The yam. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mmm, that was much more better. Mmm, 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 I'm sorry, y'all. Food make me happy, especially when I'm hungry. That was better. That has some little flavor in the yam. Okay, that's what we're talking about, y'all. Mmm, that that. <laughs> Woo! That was better. That even had a, like a little sweet taste. I'm like, did you know how you put the brown sugar to make the yam pop? I'm like, did y'all put a little something, a little sprinkle something, something to make that yam pop? That was much better. Still not my favorite that I've had. And y'all, I don't taste no kind of spicy, no nothing. Let me see. Let me get back here on this. I was gonna try to pull up the menu. Let me see. Let me get this like pull up the <laughs> pull this out. Cause I know they're supposed to have a spicy on there. That was like one of the things I was craving was like that spicy. Mm -hmm. Oh no, it's cream cheese. It's sweet potato tempura, avocado, cream cheese, cucumber topped with fresh mango. Y'all, they didn't put none of that, all that kind of stuff. There ain't no mango. There's no cucumber in that. There's no... Mm -mm. Look how they did us. I don't even think there's avocado in there. Oh, there's like a peel. There's like some little peel or something. No, mm -mm. we're gonna have to call them telling you did us wrong. <laughs> you did us wrong on that one, okay? And the mushroom one is supposed to have seaweed cucumber topped with mushroom. Okay, that one seems more accurate. No, they did us wrong on that sweet potato roll, but the, the yam was popping on that part with the sweet potato. All right, for those of you who chose it, you guys might be feeling like oh, people are just trying to scam me in my life lately. No, no, thank you, no, ma'am, no, sir. Okay, but let's see what you got. Ooh. You got the Hermit Reverse, the Fool Reverse, and the Star. Y'all about to drop something. Uh, some of y'all are doing music. You're about to, about to drop a project, okay? Some of you dropped the dead weight and it was a person. Oh, child. We got the Lovers Reverse there. Okay, let me put it up here. I'm on the side here so I can eat so I can't see everything that's going on. Okay. So, yes, y'all got some tea. You guys are like... <laughs> You guys might have disappeared off the scene for a bit, went and had a whole relationship, and now you come in trying to reconnect with people again, like reunited, okay? And you're like, no, I'm over this past relationship, I'm over all this shade and turmoil, people that didn't support me, or our past didn't really sync up, what was I thinking, like how did I think that I fit with that person or situation, like I have been outgrown that, I knew better, I, it was basically like you settled okay and now you're about to like you're down the rabbit hole now okay big aquarian energy in here some of you could have virgo or gemini but this is like no whole new me whole new life for some of you whole new city i see you dropping your projects uh creativity could be writing books music is huge for you guys social media presence like you're just bearing it all you're like i'm gonna do it why not here's my vlog here's my podcast it looks really good for you so it's basically like yes you got short change for something just like we did on this <laughs> on this sweet potato tempura roll but you still gonna find the good you're still gonna find the good and you still gonna shine okay you still gonna get the attention that you need and it's gonna be a good look it's just gonna make you more personable I would say if there's anything that you're concerned about well my lighting or you know I don't know I need to get my hair cut first or this or that this is saying no look put yourself out there because people are gonna be connected because you're you all right the full reverse don't have it all figured out they're not perfect okay and it's like you've been waiting for perfection for so long but you're perfect how you are and your journey is what 
people are interested in people want to see you learn people love going like for instance when you see um like when i'm on b loves life uh on her mukbang okay um you'll see tons of people commenting and they'll be saying where are all the new youtubers at i love supporting like people love the feeling that we helped you grow we supported you your whole journey and now you have two million something subscribers and are out here living your best life there are people who genuinely love being support systems and seeing people shine and get their blessings on okay so those people are going to be coming into your life be open to that be genuine show who you are yes <laughs> just like with baby it's not everybody's cup of tea to see family dynamics but she's pure hearted and she is you know she gives so much medicine and input and when sometimes i'll be like maybe i shouldn't post another one with the whole family loud in the back and people will say well well where's the baby <laughs> they're telling it because they're used to it so that's that's what it is just like mukwangs aren't for everybody tarot ain't for everybody but they're for a whole lot of people so go ahead put yourself out there and don't let the dead weight of the past keep you down all right yes yeah, i'm tore up a uh, temporal roll get it get it oh y'all we took the drinks mama needs a drink you know i'm a fish i'm a pisces so literally water dominant and when i go to the grocery store half the time most of my groceries will be drinks and i'll just be like this is why i'm hungry this is why i had to come in the first place i'll clean up that little soy sauce um that lot of soy sauce okay this is thai tea okay i love thai tea look how they didn't even fill it all the way this place hmm okay it's sweet but if you have a super sweet tooth and you're like a big fan of thai tea it ain't that sweet you know mm -hmm. okay this place you know i would prefer to find one of my other favorites than to go go again to this place because i feel like they're cutting little corners maybe if i was there in person and didn't order out then they wouldn't do that okay but yeah they they, they skimped on some of the cream some of the, some of the sweet all right but if you don't like it like that so much you know then then it might not be a problem they also still put a lot of ice even though i asked that light ice so let me see here she gonna play some music for y'all she said these drums need some music but we going with it y'all okay so cardamancy reading for those of you that chose the thai iced tea this is part two of the reading look we got some little music hey hey tarot move bong hey <laughs> thai iced tea here we go one, two, three, off the top of the shuffle deck, we have the two of diamonds, six of diamonds, seven of hearts here. Let's see, I'm gonna move this little mochi for a bit, okay? Okay, for your guys' reading, you have the two of diamonds, the six of diamonds, and the seven of hearts. You guys can really be someone's blessing right now. I see you guys coming and getting what you need, but it, it looks like you're going to be given a little extra, but it's specifically so that you can be the blessing to someone else as well, okay? So stay open to that, to being able to, you know, um, do for others. Now, some of you might not like having to, you know, be a blessing to others. I'll just clean that up, y'all. Um, and you might say, well, I always have to do it. Well, keep doing, all right? That's what being a good person is. This is saying, this this is something that is, uh, the universe is almost blessing you with a little extra, specifically so when so-and-so needs it, and they come across your path so you can give it to them, okay? It's like you're getting a little extra just to hold it for a minute, all right? So that somebody else can come and ask you, can they hold $5, okay? So keep that in mind. It's saying, hey, you've been blessed many times by other people, whether you perceived it or not. You know, sometimes we don't know when somebody in line said, no, go ahead, help them first. Or when somebody else, you know, we got a discount because someone else said, hey, put $5 on their order for, you know, different things like that. And so this is saying, pay attention. There's people that are blessing you and there's blessings that are coming into you because because the universe wants to continue that energy it is a blessing to be a blessing so you're gonna have what you need to help your manifestations come through some of you you're like all I'm trying to do is make sure I have something to eat all I'm trying to do is make sure that I can you know get the, the kids to school and have gas for that you're like I just have these me meager requests it's not something that I'm really you know asking for the world but it feels like it's a lot and the universe says no you're right that that ain't but a thing we're gonna help you out okay so you're gonna get the blessings you need but whilst you're getting blessed for instance maybe you need clothes donated for you right you get your clothes donated and then there's going to be some stuff that's in an extra size for someone else and you can help out the neighbor who you who is having a struggle time and actually needs some too 
right? There's always a way to bless somebody else and to keep that good, good energy. And people who come from not having a lot know that. All right. So keep being a blessing to others. You're going to be getting what you need right now to be a blessing to you. All right. Yes, Thai tea. All right. For the Hong Kong milk tea. Mm -hmm. Let's try this because they did it more warm. Mm hmm. Oh, that is different. That is it's fragrant. It's fragrant in the, the roof of your mouth, the back of your throat, the back by your tonsils. I still have my tonsils, y'all. I used to get tonsillitis all the time when I was a kid. And you know when they're like, okay, one more time, we're going to take them. And then you don't get any more. Your body's like, never mind, we good. <laughs> but every time I go to the doctor or dentist and they have to check something in my, my, in my mouth, they always say, you have the biggest tonsils we've ever seen. I'm like, what does that mean? I mean, is that a compliment? And doctor... <laughs> Mm. it tastes like it's like a nectar taste but like it doesn't taste like a particular honey or a particular flower and i know my herbs y'all mm -hmm. i know my flowers my it's good it's good but it does it hits at the top back of your mouth and it's not a gross flowery taste and then the the milk and cream is kind of a a separate palette it hits a different part of your tongue like on your tongue Mm, okay it doesn't taste too bad like lukewarm either <laughs> it just tastes like tea that got a little cool um they didn't quite give me the hot version or the ice version i don't know okay this place y'all question mark all right so for those we're gonna shuffle up your for those of you that chose the hong kong milk tea let's see all right baby got the okay boom look as i shuffle for <laughs> for the drink she keeps going and doing the music hey hey thank you baby <laughs> Woo, she grinning okay here we go queen of clubs five of heart four of hearts okay boom all right y'all need to be about your business okay mm -hmm. just focus on your business some of you you want to focus on this friend did this this family member did that this person i have a crush on who may or may not know if i exist that because i have been hiding from them hasn't you know noticed my presence and you're trying to distract yourself from being great this so that's about enough of that that's boring they're bored you know what this reminds me of is when fire signs are throwing a tantrum <laughs> she got leo rising y'all when fire signs are throwing a tantrum i'll just be like when they're kids i'll just be like this is boring and walk away <laughs> and then they're just like what did you call me bo fire signs hate to be called boring like did you call me boring okay well i'm gonna go do something interesting that's what's happening if you feel like your spirit crew is not responding to you they're just sitting here looking at their nails like child you boring really how many times are you gonna cry oh you're gonna watch this netflix again mm, this boring and they're just gonna leave you <laughs> to your own devices and go watch something interesting in the human world and so they're waiting for you to just get up and decide that you're tired of being tired that you're tired of not having fun not having adventure or not having adventure and fun that you're fulfilled with so that you'll go and do something interesting with your life they're like you're a whole ass alive like <laughs> come on now all right we're gonna sit here and pout around why for who for how long Come on now. So that's the energy that you got for this message. This is saying you better get up and get it. Vroom, vroom. <laughs> you got a life coursing through your veins and all that, right? Still got a, a hot, a hot body uh, temperature over there. <laughs> they said, go do something passionate. Be excited. We're not going to sit, ar sit around on ice for somebody else. For who? For what? Y'all need to channel that Eartha Kit clip, all right? You know she did. She was an Aries, okay? She said, somebody else comes in my life and I got to change everything around for who? For what? She said, I'm in love with me and I'm looking for somebody else who will fall in love with me, with me. Okay, that's very Aries, but it's true, okay? It's true. And that's what your what your spirit message is saying. I'm feeling your, your spirit crew really, really passing this message along to you, okay? Yes. You want to try a drink, baby? All right, y'all. Yes. Yes, indeed. I did get jacked from my straws. It's true. That is an accurate observation. I surely did. I surely did. Anything that can be that's like <laughs> that, you know, long like that, like a drumstick, she will take it and make some music. All right. So look at her. She in love with this honey jasmine tea. Okay. It may not be the cocoa, but no. <laughs> oh, look, there's a little, there's a little song. Do we get a little download? It's so funny because I ordered the sushi and then we were listening to Studio Ghibli, um, soundtrack from uh kiki's delivery service because that's what we love y'all we love those shows and then all of a sudden i started getting commercials on youtube about um korean punk bands i was like okay i'm done with that <laughs> over here being nosy in my interwebs they're like oh is this what you're interested in okay so we have the honey and the little herbs here 
All right, anyone want to translate? Go ahead. Got the little, okay. Here, let's take a little. Okay, you can taste the jasmine. It's not, you know, I thought it was going to be like one of those Arizona green teas. People are like, that's good. It has a little similar flavoring with this, but this has like, you can taste the jasmine. Like it tastes like real jasmine tea. It's not like a flavoring. Okay. Yeah. Good, good, Sam. Do you want to try some? You can taste the honey too. Yeah, it's definitely more like legitimate than our like American um, canned teas and stuff. Okay, she didn't spit it out because it's gross, y'all. She watched it, you know, on Ponyo, speaking of anime, um, she, she's a little fish, you know, so she spouts water out. And so baby does that now. One moment, please. All right, y'all, so let's get into, for those of you who chose that honey tea over here, honey jasmine tea, let's go ahead and get your little cardamancy cars. I got these from an order delivery, too, actually, from GoPuff. They give you little Puff family points, and these were like uh, 10 points, and I had like 70-something. So I was like, let me get another little plain pack, because all of my cards are themed. So I was like, let me get a little plain, plain card set. So that's what we're doing. Uh, all right, let's see the messages for those who chose the honey jasmine tea. Look, I tried to put the queen of wands back and it came back with the vengeance. All right, you have the three of cups or the three of hearts, sorry, the queen of clubs and the ten of swords. So it's so funny, two of y'all might be friends watching this and one of you picked the, um, the last one and one of y'all picked this one and this one's saying some of y'all need to cut out the friend that's dramatic and doing the most and trying to get the attention all the time and I gotta plug this in and um, just carrying on. So for some people it's right for them to go and be the showboat and for other people it's time to cut out the showboat, alright, so that you can have your own mind, your own yeah, thoughts girl. about things, okay? And that's how it be sometimes. Sometimes nobody's wrong. It's just different a parting of ways, different energy. So for some of you, it's like if you can't handle being friends, like everybody can't be friends with a, a celebrity, right? Everyone can't be friends with the Leo or an Aries or whoever. Um, if you're in the point where you still look at things that fire signs, for instance, would prize, like their, um, their showmanship and their social circles and you know they're, they're big they have big solar plexus and their self-esteem and their confidence if you can't <laughs> she just talking and co-signing everything y'all um if you can't prize that then it might not be time for you to be friends with the fire sign right now right it's like we have to be friends with people that we can respect their grind respect who they are and it's not even about sometimes you're wrong you're wrong but if you're in your feelings sensitive and think that that makes you a better person than somebody who's confident somebody who will address things that need to be addressed okay and you're trying to shame them for that you don't know what it took for them to be a strong person to be able to clap back to have their boundaries to go out there and put themselves on stage and so if you're someone who's just like why do you need attention why do you do this and that oh you're too much da, 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 right then it's time for that that friendship to break up so i'm seeing that a parting of ways that's not about hate and shade and darkness but it's just about knowing if you can be a good friend or not okay like to honestly sit with yourself can you be a good friend to that person and so for some of you it's time to make that decision and if you're just different or you can't flex how they're flexing right now or you can't at least support them in it three of hearts is three of cups that's where we're different than someone but we still bless them up okay so if you can't bless them up right now and you're jealous or you're frustrated or you trying to change them and how they're growing into themselves or how they've been it's time to change yourself and change the dynamic of the relationship, okay? So that's what you got for those of you that picked the honey jasmine. All right, all right. And jasmine energy, it does show sometimes when people are different behind the scenes and friendships and stuff than, than they put out there, okay? That's true. Or if you know that another message with that, that jasmine means for me personally, it comes up as if you know that you got designs on that person's partner, but you sitting here trying to be a friend, don't Alicia Keys that shit, okay? Just take care of yourself if you can't be a true friend then back out all right okay for those oh well i'm sure everybody chose one for the mochis so this was the one that was least frozen a little more and really frozen these are the ice cream things we're gonna try these i can just try one for all so these are like ice cream chocolate ice cream that are covered in like what is it like rice ball stuff they don't look the best that i've seen oh y'all for goodness okay here we go Mm. Mm. 
<laughs> cool. Okay, y'all. So I'm back. Y'all, the ice cream inside is good. It tastes like a, um, it tastes like a Frosty, like Wendy's Frosty. It does. It tastes good. The, the outside is not good. And I've had mochis before, but this was like kind of hard and crackly and just, it was a weird texture. I mean, they already looked a little funny. Mm -mm. These are not good. These, in my opinion, this is not good mochi, y'all. Uh-uh. I'm just gonna try that one so the ice cream was very good and actually before I had it where the outside was really nice but the inside the ice cream didn't taste like nothing and I was like I would always have that happen and I was like man I never want to spend on them because the ice cream inside is usually not so good or whatever this one has good ice cream inside but the outside just tastes like they just made up some dough and kind of made a mistake We're like oh well just put it around there like maybe they beat it too much and it was like more play-doughy where it gets hard and kind of crackly when you you know y'all know what I mean if you you bake and you overly beat like a batter or something and then it comes out kind of tough and and it kind of breaks up in your mouth in like a weird way I don't know it wasn't it wasn't the business but still <laughs> we're gonna pull these little cards for you and we're gonna finish the rest of this mukbang so for those of you who chose the least frozen mochi we got this one the lover thing it says forgiveness stop focusing your energy on past events for life is too precious to waste you create your reality but what you think dream and imagine so you do have the power to shift different dynamics within this connection based on how you feel and if you're having a grudge it is felt by the other person and it is changing the dynamic of the situation if you have begrudged energy from past relationships or just against love in general love feels that and it's like how are you going to tell me to come over into your house and your heart but you hate me okay but you hate me though so pay attention to that for those of you that chose the least frozen one or the the middle partially frozen one we have this card here in a tarot deck that uses this um same artwork from carmine what is it carmine salerno no there's another there's three names in that name i forget but um this is the empress but on this one it says deep in your heart you already know the answer do what feels right you already know so for those of you that are picking the partially frozen it says you already know the answer deep in your heart all right go with that for those of you that chose the most frozen it's kind of melted now but the most frozen frostbit um mochi ball let's see i'm gonna mix these up real good okay it's so funny because the ones i saw at the beginning that i thought would stick out ended up coming so it says life is a series of constantly shifting cycles when we resist change we resist the natural flow of life and create unnecessary stress go with the flow you will be surprised where it leads okay that's so true because i've been telling baby um you know she cap she's capricorn so she has all this earth and like you you guys know i've been working through different health concerns and stuff so i'm getting so 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 much better thank you guys for all your support and love that you're always sending but i don't like resistance on my body or like stress in my body for no reason okay and i got taurus in my chart when we, we want to mosey let us mosey and be comfortable why are we uncomfortable for what <laughs> okay for why i can like if there's a reason to be that i got scorpio and aries in my chart we can do that but if there's no reason to be uncomfortable why are we being uncomfortable and so with her <laughs> energy she also has scorpio she got fire she got she's capricorn lately she will just like for instance just carrying her she'll want to push against my body and resist just to do so right or like hang like you know just strange stuff or like just make her things a little like she wants the obstacles being a capricorn like she's she just once an obstacle sometimes and i'm just like no like you if you want to do that you go over there and do that but i'm not coming over here trying to stress my body for no reason and that's kind of the energy of your message here it's like you have to realize when you, you're sitting there creating obstacles and stressing for no reason okay so especially those of y'all that have uh, capricorn aries scorpio in your charts it's like chill out people feel that in you know whatever kind of connections you're trying to make and it doesn't feel good it feels kind of attacking or it feels like a wall or it feels like just like frustration like you're giving them more it's like when um someone has saturn on our venus or our jupiter or our moon it feels like they're just coming over bossing us around for no reason or making things difficult for no reason right like a like a sibling being all annoying <laughs> so this is saying 
Go with the flow, okay? People around you will feel that and situations will come and flow with you easier. All right, so that's the divination portion. We're going to sit here, eat a little bit more, drink a little bit more. And Kiki, I'm so disappointed in those mochis. And I'm definitely going to call this place because some of this stuff, they didn't even give me all the ingredients on what I was supposed to get. And I'm like, what? <laughs> you charged a little few extra dollars more for like this tempura roll and you didn't even have three of the ingredients on it? What? Y'all. All right, y'all. I moved the the cards that we're done with, and I moved the um, I moved the those little mochis we ain't about to eat and stuff like that, so that we can just get into it here. There's like soy sauce everywhere, but we're gonna go ahead and you know get into this a little more. Just shoot around the breeze, talk a bit. Mhm. Mm I love how fragrant the drinks are, though. Mhm. Mm Mm, that's good. That Hong Kong, that Hong Kong tea is good. <laughs> I'm looking at y'all's comments over here. <laughs> I'm looking at you. <laughs> da -da. Oh, so we're gonna have some entertainment again. Mama needs her chopsticks to to eat. She, what she's doing, y'all, is she's hiding them. Let me know, y'all, that have Capricorn children or when you were uh, younger, y'all. I know this is. I'm behind the camera. Just bear with me. Oh no, oh no, should I boop? I'm gonna leave it in. I know this video is edited, but in the spirit of t uh, Simply Food by TY's no edit challenge, I'm just gonna leave in some of it. I'm not gonna leave all, cause sometimes baby was too, too loud. Yes, yeah, she gets louder than what y'all heard. Um, <laughs> but I am gonna leave enough of the bloop, bloops and bops. You did say it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, you did. Mm. Sorry, y'all. I just got caught up in that <laughs> in that bite. Mm hmm. Mm. Now I tasted the cream cheese in that one. Okay. What do y'all want? What should we do? Mm hmm. Everybody, tell yell at your screen like you at Magic Johnson Theater. Have y'all been to Magic Johnson Theater? Mm hmm. That's funny, y'all, because that's where all the aunties go. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm. okay i could taste the cucumber in that one all right y'all so we're back from our many little cuts here and um the necessary cuts okay because i'm still serving you bless you my love still serving you um as much unedited as i can okay i've just been letting it get really and really with the family dynamic okay um baby again is toddler 20 months old so she's at the very um exuberant stage right now but look look what she did y'all we had negotiations with Capricorn Child and I lost. So I have no chopsticks out of three sets. <laughs> and what I was saying, what I was trying to say many times is, do any of you with Capricorn children or that were Capricorn children, did you hide stuff? Because she will go, like she prepares for hibernation, y'all. Mm. Mm hmm that crunch. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Yep, you put it bye-bye. Mm-hmm. -bye. <laughs> She will hide things. She'll take mama. off her spoons. Bye bye for mama. Bye -bye. <gasps> She's bragging that she got the chopsticks. She said bye bye for mama. <laughs> yes, y'all. If you don't like your like your food to mix, I'm a mama and I'm down to one straw and I want some Thai tea. Okay. Very good Gemini placements. You know, I guess you can just feel better than me about that. No, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> don't play like y'all don't. Libra and Capricorn placements, y'all too. I know y'all do. I've been enough. I've been friends with enough of y'all. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I swear I'll just do it just to give it to you. I used to tease. I have the meme page, astrology meme by an astrologer. Go check it out because you'll see that most of these astrologer places are taking my memes, y'all. They sure are. But um, <laughs> I was joking on there, and I, I finally confessed someone meme when I'm, and I was like, when you're a Pisces, you know, meme maker, and you put typos in all the Gemini and Virgo placements so that they can feel better than you, <laughs> they can feel satisfied because they can point out the the typos. <laughs> <laughs> and people were like oh that was a good one i was like see but y'all were satisfied though you got to sit there and talk about it and point out the you know y'all are so funny some of you signs y'all funny we know we know what you're about mm-hmm 
Mm -hmm. Like, okay, let us just be messy then so you can feel a little, you know, if your Virgo friend or your Capricorn friend is, everything's not going right. Oh, y'all, we lost the avocado. Why it do that? Why it do it, precious? The whole, the, oh, no, the back and the front. See, so if you got, look, if you having a little, this is happening to your Cap, like this, this sushi is your Capricorn or Virgo friend. You can't leave them hanging like that. Like, you're Pisces or Aries, shoot, we can handle the rough and tumble. So you just got to come and all of a sudden you just be like this and you'd be like, mm, yeah, let me just. Just grab the sushi with my hands and just do this and then they'll be looking like you're a hot mess and you're like mm, delicious and then they feel like they put together and that's how you help them out mm-hmm mm-hmm mm -hmm. that's the tea and then they'll be feeling look all the people who um all the Virgos and Capricorns and Libras I know are saying oh, gasp it was an act yes I can eat real cute y'all mm-hmm as a matter of fact and college I started eating messier because people would just stare at me and watch me eat and it was like mukbangs before mukbangs okay at least over here before American mukbangs for real y'all so I'll go on screen sometime and let y'all see me eat cute not messing around with all the you know all the craziness going on in the family and stuff but uh-huh but y'all for real I will I'll just even unintentionally but I grew up around Virgos and Libras so sometimes I'm just like okay let me just make a little distraction and do something a little silly, do something a little, you know, uncouth so that you can feel put together. Because you're about to have a breakdown right now and be neurotic for, <laughs> neurotic and angle for the, er, uh, angle, <laughs> anal for the next 10 minutes. So, what am I kidding, 10 minutes, for the next 5 hours? So let me give you a little something. Let me just, you know, let me snap you out. Let me let you have your little superior. <laughs> 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 no shade but all the tea y'all all the tea Woo! and let me tell you these beverages are hitting yeah. out of the beverages i would go back for a beverage i would slide through for a beverage i don't know what this you know for an avocado the avocado's good okay mushroom could be better like the actual mushrooms um the seaweed mm, some bits are good some are not their cucumbers are popping where I have cucumbers, this shrimp, the shrimp one though, or not shrimp, oh my god, this um, yam, I was thinking tempura and it was making me think shrimp, they left a lot out, there's no, do y'all see, where, the mango, show me, okay, where's the mango, mm -hmm. the mango, <laughs> that's right, mango y'all, where's it at, okay, look, I'm gonna click, let me just see again and remember all that's missing off of this, just so I can be really thinking about it. <laughs> that must be the earth in my chair. Let, let me really think about it. Okay. Okay, it's not coming up on the computer one. Let me get this back out. And that mochi, y'all, they should never do mochi. I feel bad because anyone who has mochi at their place is like never going to eat it again. Okay. Avocado. Okay, we do have, let's look. Okay, we do have avocado. We do have cream cheese. We do have the sweet potato tempura. But there's no fresh mango on top and there's no cucumber. Mm hmm. Look how they did us. And they on camera, y'all. Yes. Mm-hmm. Are y'all getting down? Mm-hmm. Bust the move. That's your jam, huh? Mm-hmm. You better shazam that shit. <laughs> y'all, we leave the fork, huh? Not the chopstick move, but we leave the fork. <laughs> mm-hmm. That was good, baby. You gonna do another song? <laughs> mm -hmm. You should make one of your own. Do a Baby Magic original. You might have to have her make our opening theme song, y'all. Mm -hmm. Yes. Now, if y'all don't know, if you are, so a lot of Pisces, Pisces and Virgos actually, we can be um, borderline anemic or be anemic. So we gotta watch our iron. You can really eat for your zodiac sign, y'all. Um, ironically, usually the things, the minerals and stuff that people need per zodiac sign is the stuff that is like your animal, like your zodiac animal. So it's like, ooh, that's cool. <laughs> Libra's like, we gotta eat scales. No, <laughs> Aquarius is like, we gotta eat humans. <laughs> for those who have animals. <laughs> Baby said, not the goat. Uh -huh. Ah, not the goats. <laughs> She said Babo. That's what she calls me, Bohemia Babo. Mm, she calls me Mama, but she likes to practice and say my name. Not the goat. You don't have to eat the goat, baby. <laughs> she said, Not the goat. But you're the goat. 
y'all seriously when I was pregnant I would um and then I look up in the um the lady on the show on Kiki she's pregnant when I was pregnant y'all I swear I would I craved the color gray <laughs> <laughs> but for real we got a condo it was all the gray wash floors all the uh decor it literally was her color when we would go to get baby clothes a lot of them would be all different smooth kinds of like gray with like pops of yellow and like some black it was like all watercolors and like you know colors water signs would like because she has that and she has leo and capricorn in her chart it fit her astrology so well and i was like i just know this is what she likes because we were so connected and she would always come to me in dreams and everything and it was so it was so true Oh my gosh, but I did. It was like craving a color gray. <laughs> the Capricorn stuff, but that song Goat by, um, oh shoot, whose song is that? Shorty Bass, Slam Thick, She Modern, uh, and I'm all up in the mix. Got me mixing with the wrist. What, what's that song? Oh my gosh. She the plug, she finesse, she the one they call the goat. Oh, I'm not supposed to sing. They better not demonetize. Wait, that song, y'all. I forget. It's on Pandora now. It wasn't really on Pandora and stuff like that, but, um, yeah, that song was playing all the time. I was like, my little goat, my little Capricorn baby. Mm-hmm. But she knows. She knows her sign. Oh, speaking of children books, go over to Star Power Blue. Um, I don't think she has the E on the end, okay? On YouTube here, she's a, one of our Divine Rebels. She made a children's book, y'all. And it's about Laia the Pink Elephant, okay? Who, who didn't quit trying. Who didn't give up. And we already ordered it. It's like less than five bucks on Amazon. Shoot, if she raised the price, um, as Jay-Z says, great advice. Um, <laughs> then, you know, support that too. But we got it. And Baby loved it. She kept trying to read it to herself. It's very encouraging. Support her as a divine rebel. Support her as a great uh, children's author. The um, Who was it? I think someone in her family did the illustrations. and But she has some little info on her, on her channel. But we really love that. And, you know, we actually, um, we have a lot going on, let's say, with children's books. And we have a lot of um, story writers, book writers, and stuff like that in my family that are very creative. So shout out to those of y'all out here doing it. As far as I know, it's an ebook form. Um, but yeah, I left a review. Leave a review. I, oh, I shared it on the, um, on the community post so check that out okay everything that helps and um you know and supporting authors of color yes okay support our black women out here all that baby said that that okay and that's that on that so we really really enjoyed that so yeah we would talk about that y'all i probably left like three different topics unfinished <laughs> baby said she said that you're so excited i talked about the book yeah, she's doing. She oh, she said more. Baby's telling me more in sign language. You want me to keep? You want me to keep talking about the book? Let's see. Can we show them? Should we show them? Y'all, her tablet's gonna be dirty. But let's see if we can show them. Okay. This is the messiathon over here. We'll show you because she's like, baby said more. She wants more kudos than that because she really loved this story, and anything that makes the the baby sit here. So this is what it is. Laia, the pink elephant who never gave up. Isn't that so cute, y'all? Yes, by Erica Browder. Yes. So this is, we have it. Look, I'll clean this, y'all. Don't worry. I clean it. Look, anytime you see a parent, don't judge them on the clean. Unless it's, you can tell it's like an issue. But I swear, like, puppy and a baby, I clean things. Like, I had cleaned puppy's kennel four times by midday. And someone stepped in. And I was like, no, don't even tell me nothing about her kennel because I literally just scrubbed. And I mean scrubbed. I'm talking about organic cleaner the whole time. Four times by lunch, okay? I was delayed getting lunch. So don't tell me if she made a mess over there and you're looking and judging me. Don't even tell me. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> because four times today already? I don't want to hear it. And I got a toddler. Do you know how many times I cleaned up after her? Okay, so yeah, I know I put this on here and there's some little smudge. But anyways, this is such a cute story. Uh, I'm not going to scroll too much on there and give y'all the whole story. Got to watch it, but yeah, check that out. And baby, baby wanted you to support too. So really check that out. Even if you don't, um, 
shoot, even if you don't have children, you know, read that for your inner child, all right? Inner child homework, y'all. Because it did. And I'm a Pisces, but it made me a little choke up whenever, choked up whenever I see something encouraging children and, you know, telling them to go for their, their, their talents and just positive reinforcement. We need that so much. So I really enjoyed it. Shout out to Star Power Blue. Yes, Divine Rebels. I also did the community post. I need to go check it. Um, I kept saying I would do one so y'all could put all of your um, your ads and stuff. So everybody who has a business, um, y'all know what I support on here. Okay, it better be inclusive and not using any tokenism for people of color, marginalized communities, LGBTQIA, but you know, Divine Rebels, I know you, you on that stuff. So go ahead on that uh, community post. And put your link if you got your shop or you know whatever you're out here doing go ahead and put your link okay mm-hmm we out here supporting y'all I'm just chatting and sipping this and I think I'm about done I think I'm about done for now look we'll do one more we'll do one more big mushroom okay oh yes mm-hmm I want y'all to be able to see it like I can with the the cut <laughs> no editing challenge i'm putting that on there oh see all of this i promise you i only cut out parts where baby was too loud mm. y'all yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. Baby looked at me so funny when I <laughs> when I use my hand and not the fork. See, I know how to cue. She said, "What is you doing, Mama?" I said, "I know, huh? I usually will use a chopstick." <laughs> um, okay, yeah, that see the seaweed one. The parts I don't know. Some of it tastes a little bit too much CC. Okay, like the 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 ocean waters. Okay. It's a little hit and miss. I'm like, did they use it themselves? Like, how did you wash it? When you like, you know, when you eat something with lettuce and you're like, ooh, oh, did they not scrub that little bit of lettuce right there? Yeah. I think, um, I think I won't be going from this place again, although the drinks are really good, but questionable on the sushi. But I hope y'all have fun with this. This is a little just wonky, little silly, little fun behind the scenes with us right here. Um, don't take it personal if we keep heat about your sign. But you probably would just be like, never mind, let me stop. <laughs> I hope you have fun. Please like, share, subscribe if you come with good vibes. For real, for real. And share this video, okay? And come back to it again. There's a lot of little readings you can get. Let us know how you like this series, all right? We did it first over here. Tarot Mukbangs. Hey. <laughs> See you too. again on another one. Bye.